The truth is, it's all part of the plot to stop us leaving the European Union. I'm not afraid to mention that because it's true. Lord Billamore just intervened on somebody in the debate, but he spends night and day now working all the time to stop us leaving the EU. That's not you, very hard. I find it very hard in this chamber to take remarks from people when I know what their motives are. There's been a huge amount of dishonesty over the last two and a half years, not least from the gentleman who's burbling from the opposite back benches, who construct... Well, I, I thank the Noble Lord. Is the Noble Lord accusing me of dishonesty? No. Oh, on the contrary, accusing him of honesty. He's honest all the time. He wants to stop us leaving the EU. He's working night and day to stop it. That's what I said. And if he, if he can deny that, I'll, I'll give way to him again. But, 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 I know I, I, I don't want to impugn. I, I, it's dangerous to get into. It gets very emotive, and we don't. I know we don't want to get into. But I, the noble lord. I just listened to the noble lord, and I did think to myself. But isn't your objective that we should have a no-deal Brexit, and you're pretending that it's about the constitution? No, it's, no. It seems like an extraordinary accusation no. to make when we, <laughs> when you know that very well. Stop. Stop. I, I. I I'd be, perfectly, I'd be perfectly honest. If I had my way, we would have a no-deal Brexit. We would be out in a few days' time. We would have the certainty the country is cry, crying out for. We would have businesses and companies getting on with the job they've been told was going to happen. We'd save ourselves four to thirty-nine billion pounds. It would be refreshing. We'd be on our way. No doubt about that at all. But how we get there is a different matter and today we are talking about the difference between what I want and how you achieve it through the structures of policy. Yes we are, if the, Honourable, if the Noble Lord doesn't understand that, he's been here longer than me, he understands nothing at all. In truth, as I said, it's all part of the same thing. And I, the House didn't like it last time I warned them of the damage we're going to do to ourselves if we're not careful. Some people think that by taking time to look at this today, we're somehow, somehow damaging our reputation. The people out there know what's going on. They want, most people either voted leave or now want to leave or want, want, want us to get on with it. They don't want any more protracted uh, negotiations and discussions. They know today which side they're on in this House. And I would contend that there's a grave danger of too many members in this House not understanding what the people really want. And I believe in the long term, that's a danger not just for this issue, but for the House itself. I, I want to press on. I don't, I'll be accused of filibustering again in a minute. And that's the last thing, the last, last thing I want. Um, we are, I think now, those of us who think like I do in terms of how we deal with our constitutional affairs and issues like this, and link that too to the whole EU debate. I think there are relatively small numbers in this House, I believe, who speak for the people outside this House. I really do believe that, and I think that's why many of us feel we have to do what we do. Remind ourselves the Commons passed this bill by a majority of one. Half the Commons did not want to do it. Surely we must look at it extremely Absolutely. carefully. It's our duty to do that. And I would echo the words of Lord Owen earlier on today when he said, I think he said, if we block, use, use our structures, use our machinery to block what the people have voted for, he said, shame on us, shame on us. And I really do believe it will be shame on us and also have serious, serious repercussions for the future of your Lordship's house. Well, yeah. it... For two minutes, I would like to offer to the <laughs> opposition front bench the advice which I have given to various leaders of the opposition when they were in my party, which was never take a power or create a president which you would not want to be used against you when you are in office yourself. Uh, my lords, everything else that I would want to impress on the House was said either by my noble friend Nigel, Lord Lawson or my noble friend Lord Howard, and the wisest advice we've had was from Lord MP. I am not filibustering, my lords, I'm giving you advice, and I have done. Yeah. Yeah.